Hey guys, it's me, Lena. Thank you for coming back to my channel and checking out my Learn to Braid with Lena videos. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a, a small feed-in braid. So let's jump right on in. Okay, so first thing we wanna do when doing small feed-in braids is hair prep. Very important, so you don't have to keep stopping. Um, it makes your time faster when you have your hair prepped out and it's just a whole lot easier. And um, your braids will be more consistent because you already have your hair sectioned out how you need it. So I'm not gonna go over rack setup today because I have a couple videos on how I set up my racks to do feed-in braids. So the main question I get, are all your pieces the same size? Yes, I set up my rack with all the pieces the same size. So I'll put a link in the description on a video I posted about how to about how I set up my rack. So I have my pieces here. Don't mind her over there. That's my, my two-year-olds. <laughs> That's her mannequin head. So I have my rack set up. So I'm going to jump in here on the mannequin and show you how I get started. Okay, so I have a section of hair parted out that I'm going to braid down. I have all the rest of the hair clipped out of the way. So I'm not pulling miscellaneous strands and it's easier to keep your braid neat that way. So first I start off by just applying a little jam to the hair to make sure it's smooth and all the flyaways and fray here is all together. So I just wanna put a little jam on there just to make sure my hair is smooth. And I showed you my rack, so all the pieces are the same size. So what I do, is grab the first piece of hair off the rack and I am going to split it into two or three pieces depending on the size of the braid I'm doing. So I'm going to split this into three for small feed-ins, right? So I have my three pieces. I took just took one off the rack and split it into three. And they're all the same size roughly or they should be, but don't think too hard about it, but just split it into three pieces. So I have three pieces. I usually just throw them in my hand. It's easy to right there. So what we're gonna do is just how we would a regular cornrow. We're gonna start off with our three pieces and we're going to braid it down a little bit. So you should already know how to cornrow before you try to do feed-in braids. So how many times you go down before you add hair is up to you. I'll show you again, adding it in at the beginning. So I'm gonna take my first piece. And what I do is I put it on my hand like this, show you again. So this is my piece. And so I grab it and I just stick it, my thumb through it like that. That way it's easy for me to tuck it in. So I tuck it right up under my pointer finger like that. So one piece goes to this hair at the top and one piece is going to this one that's in my hand. So it's tucked in there really nice and tight. So that leaves me a good grip to braid with. And I'm putting all the pieces into the same side. I'm right-handed, so I add in the hair with my right hand. Now take my next piece, do the same thing, and I slide it right up under my pointer finger, just like that. And then continue braiding down normally, making sure that I'm keeping a good grip on the hair, not pulling, just making sure it's um, firmly in my fingers so it doesn't slide out. So I have my third piece and I'm tucking it right under my pointer finger. And so I'm putting a piece in every time I get back to this side, to the right side. So now I'm gonna pull my first piece off my rack because remember the first piece I mean my second piece, I'm sorry, because the first piece I split into three. So now I'm just going to continue to grab pieces off my rack without splitting it or anything. 
and I'm still going to tuck that right under my pointer finger and continue to braid down. Now how many pieces you add in depends on the size braid that you want and how thick your client's hair is. So if your client has thin hair and you want your braids to be a little bit thicker, of course you're gonna to have to add in more hair. So there's no one size fit all to how many pieces you add in each braid. Now, if I added six pieces into this braid and I'm going over here to do the next braid, then I want to add six more piece, six pieces into that braid also. And that's an easy way to keep your braids consistent. So again, I'm just tucking it under my pointer finger Every time I get back to that size, every, I'm sorry, every time I get back to the right side. And then, so I think I added enough pieces in. That's about the size that I wanted. So I'm just going to continue to braid down without adding in any more hair. And let me show you guys a close-up. So, as you can see, it's really smooth and neat. You can't see the pieces I added in. Now, if you are able to see lumps and bumps in the pieces that you added in, that means that your pieces are too big. So, just make them smaller and try again. Now I'll show you another way to add in the hair if that tucking in method doesn't work for you. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you another way to add in the hair. So I'm still gonna take my gem and make sure the hair is smooth. Just a little on the hair to smooth it in. I'm going to take my first piece off of my rack and I'm going to split it into three again. Just, just splitting it into three even pieces. As even as I can get it. <laughs> that one is a little bit smaller. But they don't have to be perfect, so. To split it into three pieces, right? So I have my three pieces to start my braid. So I'm going to do the same way. Start off with three pieces and start, just start braiding as you would normally. Now, a lot of people do it this way. So I'm gonna take my piece, make sure you got your pinky out and I'm going to use my pinky finger to hold it and I'm going to slide one side of the hair into my braid. And then I'm going to continue to braid. Then I'm going to take this piece and toss it over and tuck it in. That way, doing it that way is a little bit slower for me so I don't do it that way, but it still works. So tuck it in. Then take this, you wanna flip it over because it's still gonna go into the right side. Everything tucks into the right side. Next piece, I'm just using my pinky finger to hold it so I got a good grip on it. And tuck that, I'm still tucking that under my pointer finger. And then I'm gonna continue to braid down and grab that piece that I just flipped over. You wanna tuck that up under your pointer finger also. And take your next piece and tuck it up under your pointer finger also. Toss that over there and tuck it, tuck it tight. Make sure you keep your hair smooth. The next piece, wrap it around the pinky, tuck it under, tuck it under tight, and continue braiding. Flip that over there, 
and tuck it, tuck it under tight. Okay, and so you keep doing that again until you get how many pieces you want to add in, and then you continue to braid down. And you'll still come out with the same smooth transition of a braid, doing it that way also. So whichever way works for you. So that's how I get my small feet in braids. That's how I do them, get them to look really nice and neat. Doing all my pieces the same size on the rack saves me time and energy with having to think about setting it up from small to big. And there we go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and let me know what video I should be doing next.